We have three functions and we want to determine if they are linearly dependent or linearly independent over the real numbers. So solution. We'll start by assuming that we have a linear combination of these functions and it's equal to zero for all x and r. So suppose that c1 times 4 plus c2 times cosine squared x plus c3 times sine squared x is equal to 0 for sum c1, c2, c3, real numbers, and for all x and r. So this equation has to hold for every single, every single real number x. And so one of two things is going to happen. So if all of the ci's are 0, so if they're forced to be 0, then the answer is independent. And if they're not all 0, so if not all of the ci's are 0, then the answer is dependent. So if this condition is forced, then it's independent. But if we can find some c sub i's that aren't 0, then the answer is dependent. So let's think carefully and see if we can find some c sub i's. Well, an identity should stick out. We know that cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. Now, we can't use that identity unless c2 is the same as c3, in which, we, in which case we can factor it out. So, and here we have a 4. So how about we try this? Let's take a simple number, so say c1 equals negative 1. In that case, this piece here is going to be negative 4. So then what can we do to make this whole thing here a positive 4? Well, that's pretty easy. We can just take c2 to be equal to 4 and c3 to be equal to 4. And it should work out. Let's check. So let's see. We have c1, which is negative 1 times 4, plus, and then c2 is 4. So 4 cosine squared x plus 4 sine squared x, and the claim is that this is equal to 0, in which case we'll be done and the answer will be dependent. So this is negative 4 plus, here we can factor out a 4, so we get 4 cosine squared x plus sine squared x, and this is equal to negative 4 plus 4, cosine squared plus sine squared is 1, so we end up with negative 4 plus 4, which is equal to zero. So the answer is dependent, right? Dependent, right? Because we found some constants, not all zeros, such that we have a linear combination of these functions and it's equal to zero. If we didn't have a choice, like if it happened that all of the CIs were zero and we couldn't pick anything, it was just forced on us, then the answer was independent, would have been independent. So if you can pick them to make this equation true, it's dependent. And if they're forced to be zero, then it's independent. That's it.